Memorial Day weekend is next weekend, and boy, you're going to want to do a lot coming up this summer, and boy, the place to go is Animal World and Snake Farm. That's right. Jared Forthman joins us today with some cute friends, right, and some scaly friends as well. Yes. Welcome, sir. Okay, first of all, we were talking about this guy. Who is this? Yes, this is, to me, my opinion, this has to be the cutest animal there yeah. is. This is Bullseye, cute. the micro mini Zebu. Oh. So Zebu are the oldest domesticated cat on the planet and because they've been domesticated for so long uh, humans have been able to create micro cattle wow. so little bullseye here is only four months old so he's still little but yeah. he's only gonna get about 300 pounds which is what classifies him as one of the micro which is still pretty heavy but but that is still that's micro right so if, if you would picture breed. like a big Brahma bull <laughs> it's gonna grow to be about 2,000 pounds Whoa. okay this little guy only getting 300 pounds, that kind of gives you a, yes. a reference of how small they actually are. So full size, he's going to be about the size of what a calf is of, of the other that, ones. Exactly. Oh, got it, got it. Exactly. And, and they're found in India? That's right. Yep. So like I mentioned, they're, they're the oldest domesticated cattle, mm -hmm. uh, primarily used as a beef cattle. They're in India, but now they're here, obviously, in the States, even kept as pets. And Very you can calm. see, just totally calm. He's been kind of following us around the square here. He just and, loves and it. He was kind of an orphan, and you had to sort of rescue him, right? That's right. That's right. Uh, his mom didn't take care of him so well, so we got a call to see if we could assist, and we were happy to uh, to provide him a home. And he lives with a whole bunch of other animals in our petting zoo where people go in and just give him lots of love. So he just loves people to death. The, the hump right there, uh, like where shoulder blades would be. Is mm -hmm. that any purpose or? Uh, yeah, that's that's a fat storage. They, f oh. they live in really hot climates, just like cattle, and they're mm -hmm. able to break down that fat storage as oh. a source of water or other nutrition that they might need when they're going long periods of time uh, in the heat without water. Almost oh. like a camel. So, yeah, exactly, oh. yeah. How okay. I love really? the eyelashes. <laughs> he is very cute, he, you know, a petting zoo, but something you don't necessarily yeah. want to cuddle up next to, <laughs> yeah. as we were talking about before. And these are the ones, they are siblings. <laughs> All right, yes. Uh, we are very proud of these guys. Let me go ahead and hand the calm one off to you. Oh, thank All you right. very much. And uh, Jen, I know you can handle a little more feisty snap here. Okay. So we've got we've got Snip and Snap, <laughs> the hatchling dwarf crocodiles. And like I mentioned, we're so stoked to have hatched them there at the zoo. This is a very rare crocodilian species um, that we're just tickled to death to have. Uh, matter of fact, so fascinated with these guys. They've joined our animal ambassador program where people actually book animal encounters with them and get to do what you're doing right here. Really? Uh, they get one-on-one uh, -on -one time with these guys as well as a zookeeper and get to ask a lot of questions, get a lot of cool pictures and things like that. And you said they are the smallest of the crocodilians. That's right. This is the smallest of 24 crocodilian species. Now, being that Memorial Weekend is coming, they're here to kind of talk about our crocodile feedings ah. that are coming up. Those are going to be Sundays at 3 o'clock all summer long starting Memorial Weekend. And we're going to feed large alligators, crocodiles big, by Jared? hand. Tell me how big uh, those are. Well over 10 feet long, Whoa. animals weighing over 1,000 pounds, biting with the strongest jaws in the world. Action-packed, wow. adrenaline show. I mean, too cool. You'll be at the edge of your seat for sure. Why? Like, Folks don't feed them, day. but they can get about as up close as you can get or want to get right. to a you're going to be right up close. You'll hear those jaws smack. I mean, if your heart doesn't skip a beat, then it wasn't a good show that day. Oh and really fun stuff. And that's just one of the, the many, many, many shows and encounters you have over that's there. That's right. right. We're known to get people more up close and personal than any other zoo in Texas. Uh, lots of hands-on opportunities. Interactive shows every 30 minutes from feeding bison, camels, tortoises, to petting foxes, lemurs. I mean, you name it. It's, it's all about, especially the kiddos, getting them up close and personal, helping them fall in love with our wildlife. Yeah. To me, that's the, the best, uh, best chance for conservation that we have out there. Uh, you told me a really interesting fact about all the little ridges on their backs and on their tails. Yeah, those are called osteoderms, and each one of those is an individual bone plate that's right under the skin not connected to the rest of their skeletal structure uh, that serves as armor for these guys. So a big crocodiles, full of armor, strongest jaws in the world. They're pretty much predator proof. Wow. Yeah. And then Mike, they also I see how you the, positioned the him. He's eyeing Arteries me. <laughs> in there, so that's what warms them up. That's the right. Blood flow. Okay. Filled with blood vessels all the way around, and it helps them regulate their, uh, their body temperature, being cold blooded animals. All right. Another one which is not related to this, but kind of looks like him a little bit. 
That's is right. this guy. This is uh, the largest gecko. They're called New Caledonia geckos, uh, obviously found on the islands of Caledonia uh, exclusively. Um, really, really rare species. Uh, they grow very slowly. They only have a couple offspring at a time, so there's not many of them out there. Definitely not many in captivity. Uh, we really love having I love these their guys. Eyes, yeah, this is oh. a, an omnivore, so they feed on everything from fruits to different insects and even small mammals. And uh, what's really cool is they're actually pretty vocal. So if they're uh, scared of a predator, they'll actually growl. Uh, they'll chirp, uh, they scream when they've caught prey. Whoa. It's pretty impressive. Wow. Really, really cool stuff. Just uh, three different species of what, 500 animals you have out there, and you That's start over right. feedings this weekend, and then shows and everything else. Yeah, out kicks there. off Memorial Weekend. Uh, we've got something for everybody out there. All really, right. really cool. Uh, Always we'll, a good time. Yeah, don't forget, out there, Animal World and Snake Farm, just uh, right off I 35. And uh, yeah, go there for more information, SA Live. Com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Closest you can get to a lot of these animals. Jared, Casey, thank you yes, both thank very, very much. Thank you. All right, switching gears, even 